kinder friends. It's me again. This is Barolo. We're here to do our measuring weather chant for the last time today. So sing it with me and let's do the movements. Rather, ready? I'm a thermometer. I'm a thermometer. I measure change, temperature change. When it gets hotter, when it gets hotter, I go up. I go up. I'm a thermometer. I'm a thermometer. I measure change, temperature change. When it gets colder, when it gets colder, I go down. I go down. I'm an anemometer. I'm an anemometer. I measure wind speed. I measure wind speed. When the wind is gusty, when the wind is gusty, I spin fast. I spin fast. I'm an anemometer. I'm an anemometer. I measure wind speed. I measure wind speed. When the wind, when it's just a little breezy, just a little breezy, I slow down. I slow down. I'm a rain gauge. I'm a rain gauge. I measure rainfall. I measure rainfall. When the rain is heavy, when the rain is heavy, I overflow. I overflow. I'm a rain gauge. I'm a rain gauge. I measure rainfall, I measure rainfall. When it's a light sprinkle, when it's a light sprinkle, I don't fill up, I don't fill up. Good job, friends. All right, so boys and girls, today we are going to make a project. I need you to get out this page here. We are going to make a windsock. And so in order to do this today, you're going to need this blank paper. You're going to need this straw. And then you're going to need some sort of a sewing pin. Go ahead and hit pause and go get those things. All right, got them? Good. First thing that I want you to do is I want you to color your pinwheel. Color the different triangle sections that you see different colors. And then if you want it to look really different and challenging, you can also do the same thing on the back. You could leave the back white too, it's up to you. So after you have colored all of those things, I'm gonna ask you to cut it out. Go ahead and hit pause and color all the things, all the parts. Now, my friends, when you cut it out, the first thing I want you to do is I want you to cut around the outside of the pinwheel. So go ahead and cut around the outside. And then I wanna show you when you come back how to cut around the inside part. All right, so now that you've cut out around the outside, there are these dotted lines here and they only go part of the way up. Your job now is to cut only up to the dotted lines where they stop. Then turn and make a cut. And then turn and make a cut. And then one more, turn and make a cut. So you should have all four of your sides halfway cut apart. You can see my back and you can see my front. Go ahead and hit pause and cut those apart. Now, you might need a grown-up's help for this next part, friends. Do you see these circles here? What I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this circle up here to the top. I'm not going to press it down flat because I want the wind to still be able to get in there. And then I'm going to take my next one and fold it in. And then I'm going to take my next one and fold it in. And then I'm going to take my last one and fold it in just like this. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. 
you're going to want your grown-up to take your sewing pin and they're going to put it through all of these pages that you folded together. So it looks like that. Oops. Looks like Mrs. Barillo missed one. Looks like I need to try again. And that happens sometimes, friends, and that's okay. All right. There we go. So now I have it through and it's poking out the back side here. So parents, the next part that I need you to do is I gave you this straw. Your job is going to be to poke this through the straw and then you still have this sticking up because these are pretty easy to bend. Go right ahead and bend the needle down so it doesn't poke anybody. So I'm gonna bend my needle down. And then if you flip it over, you have, you've made a pinwheel. You might also wanna, um, once you pin it down, you could also probably tape it down. I think that would also work well. But let, boys and girls, let your parents do that part. See, then you have your pinwheel. The other thing that I wanna show you guys today is this project. We're gonna start this Bridging School to Family project. I have a slideshow that I'm posting on Seesaw of this exact project and some examples. And what I want is I want you and your family to make a diorama of something related to weather because that's what we've been studying. So you could do windy, rainy, sunny, snowy, cloudy, foggy, any other types of weather you might think. And to make a diorama, you just use a shoe box or a cereal box or an Amazon box, any box you have at your house. This is an example of a sea life diorama. But friends, if you look on Seesaw, I made a slideshow of past students, how they have done the weather dioramas. So this is, I'm assigning this today. It won't be due until next Friday. So take your time and work on it at home. Have fun, friends.